To some, they're an eyesore. To others, there's nothing that looks better. Aero spokes, HED tri spokes, nimble crosswinds, Karima four spokes. What's the deal with three to five spoke wheels? <laughs> Before we get into the video here, take the information presented with a grain of salt. All the information that I'm presenting here is from research and from talking to people with experience from riding three to five spoke wheels. I, Zach Gallardo, have no personal experience riding three to five spoke wheels. So why do people ride three to five spoke wheels? What are they like and what do they have to offer? There's kind of two groupings of three to five spoke wheels and they're built for different purposes. First, there's the plastic wheel like the aerospoke, and second, there's the carbon race wheels. Now first, let's talk about aerospokes. Aerospokes are five-spoked wheels that are geared towards street riding. Now, let's take a look at the weight, durability, ride characteristics, and price of the aerospoke. Aerospokes are made out of a composite plastic and are heavier than traditionally spoked wheels. A front box section rim like the H Plus Sun TB14 laced to formula hubs weighs around 1,050 grams while a front aerospoke will weigh around 1,250 grams. That's almost half a pound heavier in one wheel. A lot of people around the forums report that aerospokes are very durable for commuting, and the fact that they never need to be trued is their biggest benefit. Let me say that again. They never need to be trued. Pretty cool. This makes them one of the lowest maintenance wheels on the market, perfect for riding hard and not having to worry about taking care of them. A slight drawback to this benefit is that if you get a wheel that is slightly out of true, it can be fixed, and the high durability level comes with a few drawbacks in the ride characteristic department. Despite the name, the actual aero benefits of aerospokes is debated ad nauseum on the forums. With that said, the spokes are shaped in a manner similar to an airplane wing that would lead one to believe they are indeed aerodynamic, but I was only able to find anecdotal evidence that attests to the actual aero benefits. Many that have ridden them on the forum said that because aerospokes are heavier, you can especially feel the weight during climbs and starts. Also, the forums report that aerospokes don't fare too well in crosswinds compared to traditional wheel sets. And according to Reinhard's, 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 Reinhard's wheel stiffness test, aerospokes are the most flexible, in other words, the least stiff, out of the 140 wheels tested. Retail price for aerospokes is around $400. Although durable, they aren't indestructible, and a replacement aerospoke under the lifetime warranty will cost $200. They are mostly form over function, and unless you're willing to spend a lot of cash for bling for your bike, I recommend sticking to the traditional spoked wheels. The second type of three to five spoked wheel is the carbon race wheel. And these are made to provide the ultimate weight and aerodynamic benefits. These race wheels are seriously light. For example, the front HED head, HED, is it HED or head? H3C weighs 745 grams compared to the 1050 grams of the standard box section wheel. In contrast with the aerospoke, that's half a pound lighter in one wheel. Like aerospokes, three to five spoke race wheels don't need to be trued. But again, this is a double-edged sword since if you buy a wheel that isn't true to your liking, you might be a little annoyed. Since three to five spoke race wheels are very light, they will make climbing and starts much easier. People that have experience with these race wheels report that they give aerodynamic benefits very well, but lack in the cornering department and are also a bit annoying in crosswinds. For race wheels, there are signs scientific studies out there that attest to the aerodynamic benefits of them. To be honest, I didn't read much of it because I didn't understand it and it made me feel dumb. But if you're smarter than me, you can check out the riveting paper titled A Comparative Study of Commercial Bicycle Wheels Using CFD in the description below. These top-of-the-line 3 to 5 spoke wheels are designed to use a particular width of tire which will also influence ride characteristics, but for the most part, the forums say that these have a very rough ride. Because these wheels are designed for ultimate performance gains, the price starts around $800 and goes upwards to around $2,000, while carbon fiber repairs start at around $200. I would recommend riding three to five spoke wheels where aerodynamics is of utmost importance and where every millisecond counts 
and this usually means in high-level racing. Vision, a manufacturer of tri-spokes amongst other aerodynamic goodies, states that people looking to make their bikes supremely aerodynamic should consider three-spoke wheels. This includes high-level track racers and time trialists. Otherwise, three to five spoke wheels are probably overkill for any other type of riding. A lot of people in the fixed gear community covet the three to five spoke wheel because of their appearance. And if I'm being honest, I also think that they look pretty cool. But other than the bling factor, they don't provide much benefit for everyday riding. Unless you're racing or you like your bling enough to pay the steep price tag, I would recommend sticking to the traditional spoked wheel. So tell me, what are your thoughts about the three to five spoked wheels? And do you have any experience riding them? Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you all in the vlog on Wednesday. Oh yeah, if you want to see something cool, check out this video I found of Mad Fiber's manufacturing process by clicking the card above. Alright, alright, bye now. Like, for real, bye.